What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for joining me here today on this Tuesday, May 23rd, 2023, for another metallic episode of Music of Destruction coming to you from the new MOD Crypt. Janelle made some changes to my desk and the background. I think it looks really cool. Those were some ideas that I had. Thank you, Janelle. As always, bringing you the absolute best in metal related content right here on YouTube on the only metal channel you need back after a three week break i was getting very burnt out on making content i am back now full swing full energy got a lot of exciting stuff coming for you guys also coming up this weekend members only podcast i'm going to be doing the history of Crisian, so make sure you guys check that out also coming up on the channel may the 26th tabor hanyi of cryptworm is going to be interviewed right here on mld along with the next month, Philip Fasciana of the legendary Malevolent Creation coming up on June the 29th. That's going to be great. Now, if you missed anything back a few weeks ago, click the eye in the upper right corner of the screen. And get caught up on the videos. Remember to smash the subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for notifications. So you know when I post a new video, MOD giving you only the real Elite Underground Metal, uncompromising and intolerant. The only way I'm going to do this. Welcome to Album Review Tuesdays here on the channel. First one in a long time. Uh, today we're going deep into the underground once again for a look at an incredible modern UK death doom band with sewer feed echoes from the cistern. And you know guys, I was very lucky to get a copy of this. And there's the CD and the album art. I guess I could show you guys the album art. And actually, it's just an inlay, I think. Yeah, it's not a, there's nothing on there. Um, yeah, the CD looks really, really cool. Now, the CD version was released on Obliteration Records in 2021, of course. Um, and the cassette versions were released on Dry Cough Records and Sui Rot Records in 2021. Now, Black Legion Records, I believe, did a third pressing of the cassette. I'm sure that's definitely one of the ones that did. I know they did a, a pressing of the cassette as well. Now, there isn't too much information on these Maniacs other than the fact that they formed sometime back in 2019 and have released two albums so far, the EP, Echoes from the Cistern, and the Split with Plague Patrol, which just came out this year. So for the lineup in Sewer Fiend, we have Sam Robinson, vocals and guitars. We have John Riley, bass guitar, who's also in Slime Lord, and David Lanis doing the drums. All right, let's get into the review of this awesome EP, shall we? So we open up the album with Writhing in Stagnant Water, and you know, right off the bat, we get some incredible, ominous, dark, psychedelic guitar work that has a very ominous presence to it as the infectious mass of rotting, putrid riffs set in, followed by some incredible, low-churning, just bombastic, like, sonic drum work that just, it echoes off the echoes of the cistern. I mean, that's what it sounds like. It echoes off the walls, Sounds like they recorded this deep in the subterranean sludge of the New York sewers, or the UK sewers, if you will. That's what we get with this sound. It has a really just foreboding dark atmosphere here. Some crushing heaviness going along with those brutal double bass drums with a bit of blasting in here as well. Uh, very submerged in a vile, infested, rotting, slime-ridden production. And the guitars are also dripping with this miasmic sludge in the tone that has like a very cavernous, just dripping in filth and disease ridden uh, feel is what's coming off the guitars on here. And those riffs are so crushing and low and churning that it really gives a incredible atmosphere as it brings you forth into some very dark sewer ridden caverns and gives the impression of feeling that there's these dark creatures lurking in the darkness just like the album cover suggests this is something straight out of the movie chud if you guys remember that old 80s horror film i'm an 80s horror freak myself janelle and i are gonna watch that movie fuck this would be the perfect fucking album to go on the soundtrack to that movie because that's what you get with this i'm pretty sure that's where the inspiration came from to write something of this magnitude and it terrifies you because you feel like there's these dark, ominous, disgusting, vile beasts lurking beneath the sewers that are going to devour you. And it has a strong presence. And it's a true testament to death, doom ridden filth with a lot of plague ridden atmosphere here and a very psychedelically nightmare inducing uh, riff patterns and structures here that just make it so fucking killer. This is a great track. I love it. Next up is Pulsating Mass of Worms. I mean, listen to that fucking title. 
That is an incredible title for a track. Pulsating Mass of Worms, guys. Like, holy fucking shit. Right from that title alone, you know that you're in for something truly terrifying. This one will creep into your skin like an infection from the deep with some abandoned New York sewer sound. That's what it sounds like. The UK kind of New York sewer sound that one can only imagine to be vile and disgusting and atrocious. And all the different abominations that one would discover here would probably be unfathomable to the normal human mind because that's exactly what the instrumentation, atmosphere, and overall aesthetic and vocals and lyrics reflect. And we get a very dark trip into nightmarish, vile, disgusting, unfathomable horrors and atrocities lurking beneath the streets, all while being crushed by hopeless despair in that doom-ridden guitar work. There is death metal in here as well, but there are bands who do death doom, and then there's bands who do doom death, and I feel like Sewer Fiend more fall into the doom death. Of course, death metal is still very much intact, but you get such a strong soul crushing feeling from the guitars because that doom metal aspect is here it's a very very bleak and despair filled very horrifying you know and i really love how the track corrodes forth into like this acidic bile melting passage in the guitar the drums the bass of course the vocals just absolutely fucking awesome the speed and aggression of death metal is here as well but as I said, this is more atmospheric, so of course that doom metal going to be very much intact. Of course, death metal is as well, but just a disgusting, crushing track here as well that is just drenched in disgusting cavernous reverb as well as everything sounds like it's on the verge of rotting and annihilation from beyond the depths of the fiending creatures from below. And this aesthetic and emotional ideology, very cohesive. This is a killer fucking track as well. Closing out the EP is the 10 minute mammoth track that is Echoes from the Cistern, the title track of the album. This one bellows without restraint, okay? It comes from a pit of nothing but filth and rot and terror filled hungering from the horrific abominations within the cistern. There's a strong reverb soak guitar clean passage that's played here for quite a bit before it just explodes with doom metal cacophony with that death metal aggression doom metal crushing soul draining heaviness that just corrodes and crashes against some really compelling like bombastic drum work that sounds like it's being played and blasted out of a fucking cannon i mean that's how thunderous and impactful these drums are because of the reverb and the atmosphere that this fucking album is drenched in it's so goddamn good it and then you know you get like that amazing feeling of being attacked by unfathomable monstrous entities lurking and infecting the entire aspect of your being like you've been pulled into their dark world of sewer dwelling filth and putrid vile disease ridden slime and rot this is a homage to depravity and filth and rot okay along with the abominations like i said that would inevitably result from such things festering for long periods of time and like this pool of cess disease slime just imagine what could be lurking in some of the sewers in the world. I mean, from just years of no light, rot, disgust, disease, all the, the waste that goes in there. I mean, you'd probably end up with something like on this fucking album cover. I, I, I don't fucking, I'm not kidding around. That's what you get from this. And it has a very terrifying, disturbing, ridden atmosphere as well. That's just fucking amazing. I mean, this is exactly how I love my death doom. This is a love letter to all these disgusting vile abominations and imagination and different aesthetics that would inevitably result and it, it corrodes through this album like it's gonna come out of the speakers and melt you in a fucking acid. That's what this sounds like and it's so fucking good. All right, let's check out some Sewer Fiend here on MOD, enjoy.
And we are back, guys. And yeah, this is one of the best fucking death doom metal albums of 2021, or doom death if you prefer. So happy that I finally got my hands on a copy of this. Obliteration Records did the CD. Yeah, I, and what really kind of pisses me off is the split with Plague Patrol sounded a lot cleaner than this. I don't know why. Hopefully that was an oversight. Anyway, I'm very excited to see what these maniacs come up with for their full length. Let's hope that production being a little bit cleaner with Plague Patrol is just temporary, okay? So the final verdict for Echoes from the Cistern from Sewer Fiend is getting a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend this. Links will be in the description where you can buy the CD. You might still be able to find tapes on Dry Cough Records or Black Legion Records. Sewer Rot may end up doing another press. They were the initial label that put this out. 10 out of 10. One of the best extreme metal albums of 2021. Yeah, awesome stuff. Hail the fucking underground. All right, guys, there you have it. Another album review in the books here on MOD. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for notifications. Merchandise on the home page. Click the store tab. Janelle's working on merch uh, as well. Going to be some great new designs coming out. Please go check out the store as it stands right now. I'd appreciate it. Join the channel. Become an MOD Elite VIP. Get great perks. $249 for your first month. $499 thereafter. Hit that join button. You get access to exclusive content, review requests, uh, within reason. Ban interviews, like I said, Tabor Hany of Cryptworm, Philip Fasiana of Malevolent Creation. Two of the interviews coming up in the next two months. You also get members only live streams and exclusive content. And collaborations. I'll be doing collabs with Josh Dominus for Brothers from Hell Fridays from now on. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be great. Have an awesome night, guys. We'll see you for Album Ranking Wednesdays. Hails.